What's up guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be checking out the new Swirl CD3. So I got some other discs to compare here. A couple stock S lines, some older mystery S lines, an embossed C line, and of course two Swirl S line CD3s. Now, if you'd like to win one of the two Swirl CD3s I'll be using in this video, just go ahead and sub to my YouTube channel here and leave a comment below to win one of those. First thing I wanted to check out on these was making sure I put a lot of hyzer on the disc, put it nice and high, and see how they came out, whether they flipped up, where they push forward and uh, kind of how stable they'd finish from that high up. Regular S lines and the Mystery S lines, they both pop up out of a hyzer and push pretty straight high up in the air. This is a good time to tell you that I have used the S line CD3 for a long time. I recently started taking them out of my bag because working on some form stuff and Sometimes I can over flip them a little bit. So here's the C line, which I hadn't actually thrown until I started testing for the swirl. And it was much more stable than any of the S lines I've thrown. So that kind of surprised me a little bit. So moving on to the swirl, the new release, I was wondering since the embossed are so much more stable if these would hold up as well and actually I did notice some more high speed stability on the swirl S lines versus the regular S lines when I put it up there all of the high hyzer shots I threw with the swirl CD3 never really came into a full turn I was able to push them high and they went straight but never quite flipped up like the S lines. After I threw some hyzers, I went ahead and threw some anhyzers with all the discs to compare how these would push, if they could do tight turns, slow turns, whether they just dug into the ground or if they stayed up in the air. Again, I have thrown the S lines for a long time, so I know in order to get these to actually come out of a full on Anheuser or forcing it left to right you have to put it super high like I did just then maybe not quite that high but you do have to give them a lot of air to be able to come out the second S line I threw a more traditional Anheuser which just absolutely never came out the right side of the disc just kind of digs into the ground which if you're looking for that shot great when I throw Anheuser's, I'm typically looking for the disc to come out of the Anheuser just a little bit. So maybe get even some right to left finish. And the C-Line embossed, I was pretty impressed with these. I'm almost a little bit sad that I haven't thrown these until now. Because those actually came out at the end. So again, when I throw an Anheuser, that's more what I'm looking for. And part of the reason... I've switched over to the DDs for my main drivers because I can actually work those. Same thing a little bit for the Swirl CD3s. I did see those come out a little bit sooner than an S line. Definitely if I threw any of the S lines that I was throwing that day on that kind of a line, they would not have come out. So knowing how they flew on an Anheuser and a Heiser, went ahead and just tried to put a good rip on these and see if they flip up and go straight or maybe a little bit of turn so the stock s lines those definitely pop up out of the hyzer a little bit and can turn into a straight shot but as you'll see on some of these other s line shots you can actually get them to come up and turn a little bit so one thing that i'll probably repeat again in this video is when you're making a decision about whether to use an S line, C line, or the new Swirl CD3, you really want to consider what mistake am I willing to make with my arm speed, my throwing style. 
So for me, I tend to not throw the disc with enough hyzer, and sometimes I can dig the disc right into the ground. So the C lines I'm throwing here seem to be more forgiving for putting too much torque on it or just rolling my wrist over and throwing it to the right. Because as you see, these keep a pretty tight line. They don't get a lot of push left to right in high speed and finish out pretty stable. Now, if you're somebody that tends to go the other way where your mistake shot is throwing with a hyzer, then the C line and as you'll see the S lines here might not quite get up out of the hyzer like you want them to and push straight or with the turn. So it really just depends on your throwing style and what mistake you're more likely to make and what disc is gonna compensate for that the best. So here I just wanted to show some of the mistakes that I would make and mistakes I even made while using these discs. So you can see the S line just overturned it and it never really came back, which is something I do worry about when I throw the S line CD3 is making sure I put enough hyzer on the disc so it doesn't just flip into oblivion. So again, it really just depends what you're looking for in the disc, and if you want something more forgiving on a hyzer, then I think the S-Line is a great choice. If you're looking for something that'll compensate for a little bit more anhyzer, then you might look into the CD3 uh, C-Lines or the swirls here. So here, I tried to do the same thing and overturn it a little bit, but it didn't really dig into the ground like the S-Lines would have. If I threw the S-Lines on that, kind of a line, the right side of the disc would have just dumped into the ground. And here as well, I show the opposite, how I was saying, if you tend to put too much hyzer on your disc or your mistake is throwing too high, it's just pretty much just gonna hyzer out. So it really depends, again, on your arm speed. Some of the benefits I saw with the Swirl C3 are, again, me repeating myself a little bit. You can really, put a smooth hyzer on these. So if you're somebody that has a fast arm, but you don't put a lot of off-axis torque on the disc, the Swirl CD3 can actually handle a good amount of speed and not come out of a hyzer, as you can see here. If I would throw the S-Line CD3 with the exact same speed and angle and torque, they would have come up out of a hyzer and pushed more straight than that. Another benefit of the Swirl CD3 is that I find them more useful for Anheuser. You can really just come over and put a lot of torque on the disc and know it's not just gonna turn straight into the ground. So here I'm trying to throw around that light pole but before the tree. So making that shot work was actually pretty easy with the CD3 and again it didn't really just dump into the ground like a S-Line would. In order to make the same shot with an S-Line I'd have to give it some hyzer. And here I actually missed what I was aiming for, but I figured it was a good example that even if you put Anheuser on these swirls, they're gonna come out for you. Overall, I think the Swirl CD3 is a great addition to the CD3 lineup, something in between the C lines and S lines. Again, if you'd like to win one of these two Swirl CD3s you saw in this video, make sure you are subscribed to this YouTube channel and leave a comment on this video. Thanks for checking it out, everybody. See you next time.